and welcome to Let's Play with Creative Arts Theater, the City of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. My name is Nicole, and today we will be playing with character voices. <laughs> character voices. Creative Arts Theater tours four theater for young audiences shows a year all throughout Hillsborough County. And one of the questions we get asked the most when we're on tour is, how do you make so many different voices? Actors train their voices to do all sorts of cool and interesting things. Well, we have a character we're going to play, it's up to us and the director to decide what that character is going to sound like. Like in Creative Arts' production of The Ugly Duckling, I played Henrietta, the cheerleading chicken, who sounded something like this. But I also played Hamilton the piglet, who sounded more like this. Now we all know that our voice comes from our throat and out our mouths, right? But did you also know that you could imagine and place your voice in different parts of your body to make all sorts of cool sounds? I'll show you. This is an actor voice exercise that I like to call the king, the queen, the princess, and the witch. First, we'll play with the king. First thing I need you to do is take a nice wide stance with me. Then we're going to place our hands on our bellies, just below our belly buttons. We're going to pretend that our whole body is a castle, and we're now at the dungeon, and that's where the king likes to hang out. Now focusing your voice really, really low down in that belly, we're going to say, I am the king. I am the king. I am the king. <laughs> Good job. That was a great king. Next place we're going to go is to visit the queen. So we're going to get out of this dirty dungeon. And we're going to climb up our castle into the throne room. Now when you think of throne rooms, they're really, really big. Cavernous, they take up a lot of space. So we need to create a lot of space in our mouths. So I want you to imagine a golf ball living in the back of your throat. It's taking up a lot of space. And what that does is it opens the back of our throat to allow for even more space in this gigantic throne room where the queen is. So we're going to say, I am the queen. Good job! Now it's super important to remember that just because you're playing the queen, it doesn't mean your pitch needs to go up. The queen is actually where your own voice is. So, keeping that in mind, just think of your voice being this giant cavern. And we're going to say, I am the queen. I am the queen. I am the queen. <laughs> Good job. That's an awesome queen. All right, now let's visit the prince and the princess. So we're going to leave our throne room and we're going to climb up to the very top of the highest castle tower. And it's super high up there and it's really windy. So I want you to imagine your voice is living really high, but also all of this wind and air sweeping across your voices. And we're going to say either the prince or the princess, I am the little prince. I am the little princess. I am the little prince. <laughs> Great job. All right, our final destination is to visit the witch. So we are going to climb down our towers into the forest of our noses, and that's where the witch lives. Now, witches have long, green noses that take up a lot of room, so much room that that's the only place her voice lives. So while we show our witch nose, we're going to say, I am the witch. <laughs> I am the witch. I am the witch. <laughs> Great job. 
and let's end with a nice hearty witch laugh. <laughs> Job. There are some really scary witches out there. <gasps> you know what? You just learned how to make four different character voices. That's amazing. <laughs> now we can play with adding voices to some characters. Here are some of my toilet paper rolled puppet friends, which you can also make at home. I think this one would be good for our king voice. Let's try. Sorry about earlier. I was just being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, and this looks like a good character for our queen. Oh, wait until I tell you about my day. It was a hoot. Oh, and I think she'd be great for our princess. Nicole? Yes, Fox. Does the fox say? I don't know. Hmm. I think I found our witch. What's the first thing a bat learns in school? The alphabet. Great job! We just used all of our character voices. Hmm. But we still have some more characters here. What other voices can we make? Where else can we imagine our voices living in our bodies? Arr! Did you see that new pirate movie? It was rated R. Um... I think I heard someone say earlier that they were the king, and I'm pretty much sure that I'm the king. <sighs> I just forgot what I was going to say. Wait, no I didn't, no I didn't. <gasps> Wait, yes, yes I did. Hmm, I never do that. <laughs> That was so fun! Awesome job, everyone! Internet fist bump! Thank you for playing with me today. We would love to see how you and your family played at home with this character voices activity. Feel free to add images to social media and tag at Tampa Parks Recreation on Facebook or at Tampa Parks Rec on Twitter or Instagram. You can also use the hashtag HappyAtHomeTPA. Join us again soon for another installment of Let's Play with Creative Arts Theater. And remember, stay calm, stay kind, stay safe, and stay creative. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>